Hello, I'm Leo. Welcome to HeadsInTheCloud.tv. And hey, I'm Swampy, stockbroker for your $2 coins. Hi, I'm Phil, and I talk about tech. I have a question here from Sula in Flemington who says, uh, Dear Swampy, your associates, oh, that's very uh, polite of you, Sula, talk about technology a lot. Are you up to speed with all the current innovations? Well, Sula, how can I put this? No. I tell you, a lot of the kids are, aren't they? You should see them down the mall, they've all got their heads buried in their iPhones. I think, Jesus, look at me if you're going to ignore me. They're shocking, though. Remember when ignoring someone was an art form? You just kind of look past them, that glazed look in your eye. But now, no, they just hide their heads in their iPhones. Master's sucking up to Steve Jobs and Apple. What's going on there? I tell you what they say to me, oh, Swampy, you should get an iPhone. You could be like us. I go, what do I want an AM for? And they go, well, you can tweet. Oh, bloody hell, I'm not a budgie. I go, no, nah, tweet. You can tweet. And I go, what is it? And I go, well, you, can, you write down all the things that happen in your day and, you know, you tell your friends every little interesting thing that you're doing. I thought, God, imagine me tweeting. I'd be going, nah. got up, burped, farted, burped, farted again, scheduling a wee for 2.30, yeah, riveting stuff. Search by location. Not just a Google search, but a search on a location-aware device like an iPhone. Simply enter your search in an application like Google Maps and it will find a result for that search near you. In order to perform search by location requires 24 satellites, each weighing up to four tonnes and travelling at 11,000 kilometres an hour. Now these satellites are in orbit uh, around 20,000 kilometres above the Earth and represent an investment by the US military in some 70 tonnes of equipment. To try it yourself, open up Google Maps on your iPhone and search for pizza. It will find the local pizza shop near you, it'll give you a picture of it in Street View and also give you their phone number if they're listed. Now search by location will become an important part of search for business, so if you're not on the map, make sure you put yourself there. Keep the change. Can we all stop dwelling in the past? The future's coming at us way too fast. Sometime in the 1980s, doesn't matter when the date is, someone centralised the plan. I reckon then the mess began. Perhaps it's time to ask the question why we give those structures our protection. Because with these economic shocks, is everyone just ticking boxes? And as the old guard's pace is stumbling, we love to read about the crumbling mess they're swimming in, but no amount of lies or spin will slow the pace of this sensation that's caused by mass communication. Every house, a TV station, and everyone wants compensation. The future says we must arrange to pay the price and keep some change. I got an email here. It's from Stephanie in Richmond. She says, uh, Dear Swampy, you look like you've been through a lot. Thanks, Steph. Uh, have you experienced a lot of tragedy in your life? Well, that's a good question, Steph. I guess we've all had our share, haven't we, as human beings? I think most of the tragedy I've experienced has been later in life, and uh, most recently I experienced a severe personal body blow. A mate of mine who lived up in Queensland, when he lost his missus, he moved down to Melbourne, and... Uh, we are having a beer one day and he, uh, he made a bit of an announcement. It shocked us all. I mean, I think I'm an open-minded kind of person. I'm not judgmental, but, uh, geez, could have knocked me over with a feather. We are having the beer and he says, Fellas, you know, I'm single now. I'm thinking outside the square and I realise it's time for a lifestyle change. Well, what's going on here? And then he did it. He came out. I couldn't believe it. He said, That's right, fellas. I realise... I'm a Collingwood supporter. Jesus Christ, I haven't spoken to him since. Now I'm going to make a connection between the NBN, the National Broadband Network, and the carbon tax. The NBN should enable us to send data far more efficiently and so therefore reduce our requirement for things like paper. Up until now, a lot of people have asked users to download forms, fill them out and send them back as paper documents. Now this has got to stop we must ensure that websites create electronic data. So no paper is required, thus reducing our carbon footprint. Guess what's the most expensive land in Melbourne? A hole in the ground, the tip. Because we use it to dump all the stuff that we throw away. 
a land use we value above all others, apparently. Here's one from Carl in Bentley. He says, uh, hey, Swampy, the other week you were talking about the 70s and you mentioned uh, what uh, would have been the Western Oval at the time, but you referred to it as Witten Oval, which was not renamed until 1995. Are you a true doggy supporter or what? Well, Carl, uh, firstly, I'd like to say I am aware of the different names of that uh, said oval has had over the years, and that was intentional that I called it Witten Oval, mainly for the younger viewers so they had a point of reference to what I was talking about. Uh, and secondly, Carl, get a life. And then there's digital landfill. Do you worry that in 50 years' time, huge electricity power plants will be required to feed the service under the ocean that are storing all your backed up spam and Facebook and shopping lists for milk and butter and bad ideas for lyrics. I don't even read it all anymore, but it's all backed up. I have more and more of it backed up and so do you. It's so easy, it's automatic. Too bad about all the uranium and coal we need to have all that digital trash at our fingertips forever. <laughs> 